were you already on the dark web before this even happened? Look, Cece, sometimes you need to get inside the mind of the murderer to save the day. And if that means accessing the less legal side of the internet, then who am I to do otherwise? Gordon! And if that means occasionally ordering a dark web mystery box, then who am I to stand in the path of justice? Gordon! And if that means catfishing pedophiles and sending them overseas only to freeze their bank accounts, effectively trapping them in Siberia, then Cece, I ask you, who am I? Who am I to impede the objectively valiant throes of the, our country? Tis of thee. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gordon. Questions of your morality, or, well, lack thereof aside, if you can find them on amazing murder methods you have to try, <laughs> then can't they figure out where you live? Where we live? I'd be surprised if they don't already know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is interesting. It looks like the post was made from the library. Our library, right down the street. Which means it was probably done on a library computer. Wait, they have security cameras! Well, I was hoping it wouldn't be quite this easy. <laughs> kidding, kidding. What are you even gonna do? Steal the footage? Exactly. I figure we go there at night, right? They probably write over the footage every week, so it would have to be before tomorrow. So go there at night, pick the lock to the back door, get, in one, get into whatever room they keep the servers in and all that, download the files on the thumb drive. There we go! Great! Oh, dear sweet precious Cecilia. So faint of heart. <laughs> Took you long enough. So I'm guessing you missed my master plan. So I'm gonna go there at night, right? I'm gonna... What's this? The footage. Privilege, my ass! Your womanly wiles have proven useful after all. Great job, Agent CC. <laughs> there! That one with the hoodie. I think we're at the bus with us sometimes. He looks up like 12th and Timberly. I'm not blind, CC. Yeah, that's him, all right. That's my killer. <laughs> Are you still afraid of this idiot? He goes to a library, opens up the dark web on one of their library computers, and posts a death threat? <gasps> and he wears a hoodie? <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I really hope not. Oh, come on, Cece, it'll be fine. We pull up to his house, say hi, pull a quick monologue on him, got you, the police are already on their way, and then we can go home. Look, I'll have 9 $1 on my phone if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> I'm going without you. Gordon! Wait!
okay? Let's just look into this ourselves. I mean, you're wearing gloves. They won't find any fingerprints or anything. <laughs> I'm sorry! You're sick! That's right, I am. Fucking sick. <laughs> Alright, now look at this. It's been shot, right? But there's no gun. This bitch was murdered! <laughs> So why would somebody want to kill him? He had to have had something over them. <gasps> Maybe it was money! This house is tiny. Definitely no money here. An enormous pile of cash behind the couch says otherwise. What? Now that is not something you see every day. <laughs> why didn't they take it? Maybe they didn't have time. They just didn't need it. Gordon, <laughs> let's let's just go. Cecilia, you know we need to look for clues. Here, I'll even cover the body if that'll make you feel better. <laughs>
Gordon, you said we could go if there's nothing here. I did say that, and there will be something here. All the clues point right here, so he's going to show up. Gordon? Cece, please. Gordon! Cece, please, just a bit more. It's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. You drive me out to this fucking old deserted warehouse to what? To confront your murderer? You're even stupider than, stupider than you look! Even toddlers know the first rule about bad men, men with guns to run in the opposite, yes, opposite direction if they are ever so unlucky enough to encounter one. But no, not you. You're special. You're smarter. You know, when I think of forensic expertise, I think of you, Gordon. Crime Riddler, ultimate enigmatist. Stoner of stoners. Cece, look, I, I just don't think you're looking at this in the right way. I, <laughs> I get why you laugh. If anything, I get why you laugh. You laugh when you feel or when you don't feel as the case may be. There's so much of you bottled up in that weird cackle. I wonder what would have happened if you knew it was me sooner. Well, I know, you're too predictable. Villainous monologue, you get the idea. You've honestly been the best victim I've ever had, Gordon. We've had a good run, you and I. Good night.